Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm reviewing another in the line of Espinosa cigars. This debuted last year, 2015. This is the Espinosa Especial. And this particular size is number four, a 5x52 Robusto. There is the density. Now, this cigar uses a Mexican Capa Negro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and filler. The binder and filler uses tobacco from all four major growing regions in Nicaragua, Esteli, Jalapa, Condega, and Ometepe. So, comes in three sizes. Number one is six and a half by 48, and the number five is six by 54. And today we're, we are reviewing the number four, five by 52. So, let's get right to it. The new Espinosa Especial. You notice here at the foot we've got a little brown cloth band. We'll need to remove that, which shouldn't be any trouble. It should slip right off. And they do. Usually these cloth bands slide right off, and it does. All right, so now we're going to cut it. Only sample I have. I have not had this cigar yet. A great draw. Yes, very nice. I would say the first flavor is already, well, you've got a lot of coffee notes there. There's an earthiness. There is a cedar, a sweet cedar. It's not really a citrus. There's some white chocolate notes. It's a very thick cream is what I'm trying to say. It, it, so I'll call it a white chocolate because it has some sweetness of white chocolate. But the cedar I mentioned is probably the third in line of intensity of the flavors you're going to get. Um, that uh, white chocolate flavor and the, and, the, and the coffee notes are the predominant flavors. And there's a little earthiness to that coffee. So that's how it'll start. The, there's some black pepper there. That's somewhere around in, in seven and a half or eight, fairly intense. It's black pepper. So that's sort of how it starts. Anxious to see where it goes from here, though. All right, I'm an inch in, and the flavors are about like I described before, only now there is a little bit of an emergence of brown sugar and just a, a little touch of butter on that uh, white chocolate. The cedar notes are still quite faint. You can pick them out, but they're faint. The coffee notes are quite heavy. It's not an espresso. It's a good dark roasted coffee. Just a touch of earthiness. Not much. And the pepper, uh, I'm going to say, is every bit of an eight because it is uh, quite intense. The, the finish is somewhat of a toasted cream. There is a generous amount of uh, lingering black pepper on the finish also. I would call the cigar medium to full bodied as far as how it's coming across, how, how you're going to uh, feel it or uh, the taste and the uh, just, just a medium to full bodied cigar. So that's where we are to inch in. Things have settled down a little and they're a little better with that little touch of butter, a little touch of brown sugar. But the, uh, the white chocolate and the uh, coffee are, are the two leaders, the two stars of the cigar at this point. Well, I'm pretty much at the midpoint. And the only thing now, anything is, is different about the cigar is that the white chocolate notes are sweeter. There's still that touch of butter, touch of brown sugar. The coffee notes are still quite heavy. The cedar notes are just noticeable enough to detect them, but the white chocolate notes are by far the lead flavor aside from the coffee. Still what I call medium to full body. The finish is about the same. It's a little sweeter also. Still that toasted cream, but it's a little sweeter cream. 
the lingering pepper has actually moved up a little bit on the finish. So uh, that's where we are at the midpoint. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. From the last segment to now, the cedar notes <coughs> came out nicely. By far, it's the best the cedar has done. It's sweet, and it's a dry cedar, but it's quite sweet. The uh, white chocolate notes are secondary. There is the 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 butteriness is quite faint, uh, and there's a touch of the brown sugar still. Coffee notes are still quite good. The pepper is very good. It maintained at least an eight throughout, and uh, uh, the pepper on the finish increased as the cigar burned. Uh, it really got nice. And the finish is unchanged in the flavor. Medium to full bodied throughout the cigar. Been a good cigar. First time I've had this. Only sample I have. But uh, I found it to be a very good cigar. Had interesting flavors. I like the white chocolate notes a lot. But when the cedar came in at the end, that was also very good because it's quite sweet. A dry cedar. All in all, I'm rating it a 92. Very good cigar. Espinosa has really stepped up their game as far as I'm concerned. But uh, uh, I've enjoyed this cigar quite a bit. And I've re reviewed several of their cigars over the past few weekends. So there you have it. The Espinosa Especial Number 4. 92.